Warning, warning, warning. The images you are about to see are not from a horror show. <laughs> it's my yard. <laughs> Y'all look at this. Oh my goodness. I keep looking at this every day and I'm just like, I gotta get out here and get my yard together. This is, I can't take it. So this tree and all these little bushes and weeds they need to be put together like right now so that's what i'm going to be doing today you're going to follow along with me i'm going to give you some motivation and inspiration for you to get out into your very own yard space or planting area whatever you have you keep looking at it too like me and it's like i gotta get to it yes y'all let's do it today is the day we're gonna do it so i hope that this will help you and give you what you need push to get on out there into your very own yard space. Let's jump into it. Hey everybody, welcome on in to Home Fix. My name is Loretta and I am at one with the weeds because I'm gonna get close and personal with them right now. But in the meantime, make sure you hit that like button, comment, or hit me up with an emoji, that's cool too, and subscribe to my channel. It's Bonus Tuesday. Typically, I upload brand new videos on Friday, but today's a special day where I add an additional video in the week. And the only thing I will not be addressing today in the yard is my Japanese maple. Let me show you what that looks like right there. I did a video and it has over 9,000 views on it right now, so check that out. I will leave the link in the description box. And I will also be uh, working on getting that tree together this Friday. So the link will be up for the playlist that includes a five part yard series that I did that included that uh, initial work on the Japanese maple tree. So make sure you check out the link in the description box. Without further ado, let's get into the business of today. Let's get this yard pretty. So I had to stop and continue to get some things together here so that I can show you what I'm working with. So here are some of the tools that I'm gonna be using today. I've got a little shovel trowel here for uh, weeds, um, a little mini loper. Now these particular tools that I'm showing today, I picked up in a haul and you'll see that in the playlist. That's one thing that I'm doing. The next thing I did was I brought in my tarps. This is gonna help catch the trimmings from the bushes and the little bitty uh, pieces from here, I won't have to needle through and grab. It'll just fall on the tarp and then I'll take, carry that tarp on over to the uh, bin and drop it in there. So these are helpful. This one came from Dollar Tree, $1. And then this is a, a painter's tarp that I just have, okay? So that's gonna be helpful to make my life easier. Okay, the next tip I'm gonna share with you, y'all better get into this, this. This is your secret weapon against mosquitoes. I'm telling you, every time you get outside to do some yard work or be out for an extended amount of time, it's like the mosquitoes all send out a memo, an email to let them know, let all their little friends know it's time to eat. You know what I'm saying? Wrong. Get you some of this. This is Skin So Soft Bath Oil Spray. The original scent. I've never smelled the other any other kind, but anyway. Um, it smells really good, it's from Avon, and this works wonders, you guys. Put this all over. I mean, put it on your booty, on everywhere, under your clothes, because somehow mosquitoes figure out a way to get under your clothes, and you have bites and bruises and little red spots and pimples and bumps from them finding a way in, around, and through. Okay, so get you some of this. This smells great. You don't have to uh, smell like a, you know, that mosquito spray stuff that they sell in the store. You could use this anytime. Try me now, mosquitoes. Mm. So this is the little bush I was working on right here. I only have a little bit of the trimming fall out um, as I really didn't do an extensive cut this time. That was last time. You can check out the link in the description box, but, and that is the total yard work video, but man, so what I cut here, I basically would cut and, you know, catch it in my hand and throw it into the red bucket right there. And whatever I did not catch, I just let fall on the tarp. And I'll just go ahead and gather that up and dump it right now. This one won't need too much work, but you do see how it's out of, <laughs> out of shape right there. So I'm going to clean that up. I've got my tarp laid. Let's do it. Oh 
all right here's the section we are headed to next y'all look at the weeds take a look at it oh my gosh it goes all the way around okay so this tree <laughs> needs to be shaped up too look at the top of it mm -mm, all out of pocket just the little poor leaves right there in the center where, where the branches are uh, so anyway i'm gonna get to that right now coming together y'all if you like what you see so far make sure you hit that like button comment and subscribe or just hit me up with a thumbs up emoji <laughs> to let me know i'm on the right track all right okay i'm in the back corner and see this one here i'm not gonna be able to get through that with this one maybe my bigger loper but i'm gonna go down as far as i can and see what i can cut off not bad yeah, I know this is gonna be too thick for this one. Ooh, no it's not. Okay. I'm not trying it with that though, I know better. Okay, moving on. Y'all, let's all have a moment of silence for my annual Gerbers. <laughs> oh, they were good flowers. Rest in peace, flowers. You guys were so pretty they're coming out this annual is doing awesome and the other one on the other side that's just like it they are flourishing but oh the Gerbers you lived a good life all right let me take you around to this section see this bush it just needs to be shaped up as does this one which is identical to this one All right, can y'all see I lost all the sunlight? It is all gone. So I only have this tree to complete. I'm gonna do that right now. And then I will bring you back what will be tomorrow for y'all when it's completely bright and sunshiny so you can see everything clearly, okay? So let's get to this piece. Welcome back into day two. Day two, the sun is back out. I'm done with all of the work with the yard. This wore me out, okay? But I'm happy, I'm pleased with everything. I have my beverage, lemon water here, ready to enjoy that. But I wanna take you guys close in first and show you exactly what I did. Before I continue, y'all, I have to show you what the mosquitoes did. I'm telling you, it was some mutant mosquitoes out last night. They tore my butt up okay they sent out the most horrific signals to get the look at that look at that and i'm going to insert some pictures from last night that i took as well Ooh, oh i don't know what kind of mosquitoes these were but they were not playing around i didn't feel them as i was working because you know how the momentum and the adrenaline is going and you're doing your thing but once i got in the house mm, 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 i was <gasps> all that so the skin's so soft, <sighs> okay. It kind of worked because it didn't get anywhere else but here. They tore my arms apart, all right? They feasted well. It was a banquet, a smorgasbord at the expense of me, okay? So anyway, let's get back into the video. Hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Okay, I'm gonna take you in from the left to the right on the end results. And I hope that you guys like this, you got something out of it. And these uh, particular planters that are empty right now, please comment below what you think I should fill them with to replace those Gerbers <laughs> that live their best life, but they are no longer here with us. So let me know what you think I should put in there. And then these annuals here, I will put the name of the plant on the screen. Beautiful, twice the size of what it started out being. So they are flourishing and doing well. Beautiful, beautiful, vibrant, colorful plant. You guys let me know what you do to keep your plants happy and healthy. Make sure you check out the description box. I have put down there 
a link to the playlist of my yard series. Let's take a look at all of the before pictures of the plants and bushes and trees of how it looked prior to me fixing it up this time. They were more overgrown and <laughs> out of shape due to it being, you know, right after the winter season and spring time uh, maintenance. So I like to trim, trim this one really small so that it doesn't get all up on the window right here of my home. So I like to trim that one back. It grows really fast. And same thing with this tree. It will have, as you saw, the leaves just hanging everywhere, all over the house, just wow. So <laughs> they're happy plants. Now this particular ground cover is gorgeous in the springtime when it blooms, it's beautiful cornflower blue colors. Oh my gosh. Check out the video um, in the description box that talks about this one. It's gorgeous. You'll see the colors in that video. There's another one of that particular annual. This bush over here is gorgeous. So now this is the third bush. You saw the other two on the other side. And then that one there, this one loves to get out of shape and out of control and likes to creep onto the sidewalk. So I have to really cut that one back quite a bit. It grows really fast and really large. And there's my Japanese maple crimson queen tree. I love this beautiful tree. It will be featured this Friday. I will be doing some maintenance on that, so make sure you come back Friday and check out th that particular video. Let's talk about this huge thundercloud plum tree right here. She's a beauty. I did a video on this. Oh my God, it started raining on me, but I got it done. <laughs> that video is hilarious. Check it out in the description box down there. That's it, you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys right back here this Friday for your next home fix. Take care.